Chairman of Presidency of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Your Highness, Your Excellencies, Ministers, Government Representatives, Ambassadors, Distinguished Guests, Business Representatives, Media Representatives, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good morning and Salaamu Alaikum. It took me it took me 10 years to gather courage to come in front of you without a speech. And I decided to try this year because uh, I believe on this jubilee I should not read. I will try to talk from my heart because this is emotional project for us, which we have been carrying for the last 10 years. We have been working in cooperation with the, first with local media, media in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and also the media in the region. We have been inviting people to come forward to us with projects. Later, we worked with them. We worked with them to present these projects in the format which is understandable to investors. Secondly, we worked with international media to come close with you as investors, to inform you about Sarajevo, to inform you about Bosnia and Herzegovina, to inform you about Southeast Europe. And all this is being crowned with the event which is, uh, which is starting today for the 10th consecutive year. It is an event which is made in partnership between private sector and government. We had a very close cooperation with all segments of government in Bosnia and in the region. And I use this opportunity to thank for the patronage, the presidency of Bosnia and Herzegovina, the chair of the presidency, Mr. Milorad Dodik, Mr. Shefik Jaferovic, the member of presidency, for your strong, continuous support. We also worked very closely with ministries, Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Bosnia, Ministry of International Trade. We have been our embassies around the world trying to promote an event and to promote this region in a different light. All this we have reached with a book of close to 300 projects which will be presented to you in the next three days. This is the first time we are organizing Sarajevo Business Forum in a period of three days, because we also started with youth from the region presenting their project, their startups. We will devote one, year, one whole day to present, to give an opportunity to youth and young generation to come forward with ideas and projects. But this book took a lot of our energy, and I hope you will have time to go through to explore. We have projects in tourism. We have projects in agriculture. We have projects in energy sector, in infrastructure, in IT sector, wood and metal industry sector, in education sector, and others. So, we are proud that we collected, again, 300 new projects. And we are proud that we have registrations for this conference or this platform. Close to 2,000 participants. And we are proud to announce that up to this point, every Sarajevo Business Forum every year has been the largest. So today, this is the largest and the 10th Sarajevo Business Forum. We have 350 journalists from around the world who came, 
and we have guests from 50 countries. We are very proud that we worked in the region together, and this platform is our vision of how this region can move forward. Move forward with focus on the economy, with focus on investments, with focus on cooperation, that is the best and only solution for us. We are proud to have very high dignitaries with us today, and I use this opportunity to thank you all for coming. We are very happy that with us we have President of Slovenia. We are very happy to have a Vice President of Republic of Turkey, Dr. Fuad Oktay. We are very happy to have government officials from Malaysia, two ministers representing Tun Mahathir Mohamed, and we use this opportunity to convey our greetings to Tun, who has been with us for 10 years. We are also very proud to have with us Dr. Ahmed Daoutoglu, my professor, and he has been with us also for the last 10 years. Thank you, Dr. Ahmed. We are proud to have with us also Deputy Prime Minister of Morocco, we are proud to have with us and very honored for the third or fourth time, I am not sure, uh, Sheikh Ahmed bin Maktoum from Dubai. It is our honor, Your Highness. Mr. Mohamed Shebani, our friend, the friend of Bosnia. I think we can consider you as a Bosnian already because he has been here more, I, I'm sure, more than 30 times. With us, our co-organizer also from Islamic Development Bank. We also use our opportunity to thank you for being with us for all these 10 years and uh, a special greetings to Dr. Bandar Hajar. We have Mr. Rifet Hisarshioglu who has been with us for 10 years. Tob has been continuous supporter. And we have our local uh, businessman, philanthropist, Mr. Niaz Hastor. Thank you for being with us for 10 years. I would also like to thank our government officials, our Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Cernadak, uh, for enormous support. Thank you very much, Minister, Minister Sharovic, who has been with us all the way. Special thanks also to President, uh, former President of Croatia, Mr. Stepan Mesic, who has been coming every single year now with us. Thank you all. Thank you all for being with us, and I hope we can together have a new vision for the region, because if we do not succeed, our region, young generation will be fleeing the region, going to Western Europe, and we will have a serious problem. So this challenge is with us. History will be judging us. So thank you very much for being with us, and I hope we will succeed together. Thank you very much.